All right, so today we're going to be doing um, simple probability, and you, we've done this before, and you're actually really good at finding the simple probability fraction, but we have issues with reducing it, so try to make that your main focus for today. So our first problem says Sally was given a book with five gumdrops, one jelly bean, and one lollipop. If Sally randomly picks one item out of the bag, what's the probability that she selects a lollipop? Reduce the fraction. Okay. So remember, on probability, the first thing you need to do is to have the total. So if it doesn't give it to you, you need to find it. So you have five gum, gum, gum drops, one jelly bean, one lighted pop. So that means seven is my total. Okay. So we just want a lollipop. So a lollipop, it's just one. So you have a one out of seven chance of getting it. Now, um, since one is the uh, numerator, it is already simplifying. So one seventh is your final answer. Okay. Number two, Belvedere was setting up a room with tables up for an event. The room had one plastic table, six glass tables, three wood tables, and 10 composite tables. Each table can sit 10 people. What's the probability that the first person to enter the room were randomly, randomly seated at a glass table? Okay. So what we want to do is figure out how many tables there are. So you have one plastic, six, three, ten. So this is seven. This is thirteen. So then you just have to do thirteen plus seven, and twenty is my total. So now we're looking at glass. So glass is six out of twenty tables. <laughs> okay. So then you're going to simplify that. And so remember when we first simplified fractions at the beginning of the year, we um, checked to certain things. And so the biggest thing you can check to see if they're even. So if it's even, they're divisible by two. So it means I can divide the numerator and the denominator by two. So we're going to divide by two. So this would be three out of 10. And since three cannot go into 10, and 10 doesn't share any factors with 3. 3 tenths is my solution. All right, we're going to move down to a couple different problems. I want to do one that is a spinner, just to be able to change it up. I think it keeps going. I forget, where's your first spinner at? There you are. 31 will be your first spinner. Okay. What is the probability of the spinner stopping on a polka dot section? Write your answer as a fraction. Okay. So the first thing is you have to have your total. So you count how many sections there are. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the six total sections. Okay. So it says polka dot section. So polka dot, read this one. This one, this one. So it's three polka dot out of six. Now, um, this is another rule that uh, for reducing fractions is if the numerator, which is the top number, is half of the denominator, that means the solution will be one half. Since three is half of six, this comes out to a one-half chance. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys.